Hey guys, Jason here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be checking out the Wintercraft mod, or the Christmas mod, whatever you want to call it. But this is the Christmas mod, and it's great. Look at all these things we're going to cover. Before we begin, hit that like button. This is a long mod showcase. I do hope you guys enjoy it. Let's see if we can get to a whopping 3,000 likes for this mod showcase, you guys. It could be crazy if we could do that, but other than that, let's begin this mod. So what this mod does is it, you know, allows Santa to come and visit. We're gonna have to build a tree here, and uh, he's gonna come visit when we sleep. It's gonna be great. Also, it adds an armor, decorations, tons of food things. It has ice cream. I like, I like ice cream. And it's got lots of other things, like ice skates and just a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna cover all of it. Uh, let's go ahead and start here with the freezer. This is a basically new kind of block you're going to definitely need to craft if you want to craft a lot of these things in this mod. And to do that, uh, you actually craft it with a bunch of winter ice around a furnace and then you will get um, your freezer. Once you got your freezer, you place it down and basically the freezer is a new furnace that requires two inputs to produce one output. And uh, it, valid fuel for any of this is like snow blocks, snowballs, snow slabs, snow brick, and all that stuff is new here over here. You can check in the snow chest. We've got snow bricks are crafted with regular snow, so are snow slabs, and so are snow stairs, and this is the wrong recipe. Okay, there we go. That's the right recipe. So those are the recipes there if you want to craft some snow, and you can use it for freezer fuel right here. So the first things we're going to craft here with the freezer is we've got some ice chunks which are craft crafted out of ice shards which we will get to. Um, but go ahead and put some ice chunks in here on the left, uh, throw in some stone on the right and make sure it's fueled. And once it's finished the output will be one iced stone. And uh, ice stone is used in a few other recipes including the iced stone um, tools that we're going to be crafting. I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, but that's how you craft iced stone. To get an iced ingot, you need um, to put an iron ingot in the freezer. Um, and then it will craft what's called an ice ingot. And that's actually to craft all these tools here. The refined ice pickaxe, the refined ice axe, and all that stuff. Including some armor here that is slightly better than iron but is, in, is worse in some ways. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool armor though. We'll put that on in a second. But as you can see, it made an ice ingot. You can do the same with a diamond and you will get an ice diamond, which is actually used to craft this set of armor and tools. Uh, or it's actually called an ice crystal, my bad. But you will also need some iron rods, which are crafted with three pieces of iron diagonally, and you will get three iron rods. So that's pretty cool. And then you can go ahead and craft all this stuff. Uh, the crystal armor and stuff doesn't really show me. It's not working with the recipe or anything. But it's essentially all crafted the same as other sets of tools of armor, just in replace uh, with the ice ingot and the ice crystals. And then you will get these armors here, which are pretty cool. And this crystal ice set is actually a little bit better than diamond, so that's pretty great. And back over here in the freezer, we got our ice crystal, as you can see. Uh, the diamond turned into an ice crystal. You can also place an unstable ice gem in there Which is crafted just like this with some ice balls, which are by the way crafted a different way I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second and um, You can get an unstable ice gem put it in the freezer and the outcome will be a just normal ice gem Which is used to craft some pretty cool items, so I'm not trying to confuse you guys too much here So uh, it shouldn't be too much confusing after this uh, all this ice stuff, but uh, when it comes down to it these these set of tools here are better than stone tools, but in some ways worse than iron. Uh, the refined ice tools and armor is better than iron, but some ways worse than diamond. And then the crystal set is uh, better than diamonds. So this is the set you're going to want to go for. It's pretty expensive, but it is better than diamonds. And it uses iron rods. And check out this sword. It does 7 damage. Um, and then there's also this other sword called a shard sword. Not really sure what it is or how to get it. There is no recipe, but it does 12 attack damage. So if you ever find one, uh, use it. It's pretty great. Um, this rocky snowball here is crafted with just a snowball and some cobblestone. You'll get a rocky snowball, which actually does some damage. So if we can go find some uh, uh, mobs here, we can try it out. Uh, okay, we got a we got a lonesome pig here. What's up, piggy? Um, I'm gonna throw this rock snowball at you. Uh, don't worry, it shouldn't kill you. It just does two damage. So, um, and you can just spam it if you have enough of them, and it does two damage. So it's pretty good. 
It's a good self-defense if, like, anyone gets too close. Just launch a bunch of rocky snowballs at him. But moving on over here, we've got an Ice Staff. And what an Ice Staff does is you can basically spam it as well. But I do want to switch to Game Mode 1 to see if the durability, or Game Mode 0, to see if the durability goes down. And it does. F3H will show us that it has 350 durability, and it looks like every time you shoot it, uh, it will decrease by one durability. But it's got a cool, satisfying ding sound, so whenever you shoot people with it, um, it actually slows them down. So let's go, let's go find a mob real quick. All right, we're going to have to use this uh, pig as our demonstration again. Uh, he's got full health. This must be a different pig. What's up? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shoot him. And as you can see, it doesn't do any damage, but it does give them slowness, and it freezes them in place. Uh, right where they're standing, so that's a it's a pretty cool little staff, and it's probably worth the craft to craft it You need that ice gem I was talking about which should be over in this freezer if we go check so let's go check out this freezer Yes, there it is the ice gem and that was frozen from an unstable ice gem, so that's pretty cool We've got our ice gem, so I'm gonna show you how to craft some other things here with the freezer uh, It gets pretty crazy if you throw some rocky snowballs in there on both sides It will create what's called an ice ball once it finishes here, you will see that you will get two ice balls, and then uh, basically ice balls are the rocky snowballs. They just hurt more, I think. I think they do more damage. So let's uh, let's go find that little piggy again. Okay, here he is. I'm going to shoot an ice ball at him. Bam! It does five damage if I shot one more and I hit him. If I actually hit him, it would have killed him. So uh, yeah, they do five damage each, so that's pretty cool, but moving on. Next, we're going to put some milk on the right and some sugar on the left, and it should make something pretty cool here. Uh, I'm going to wait and find out and see, since it takes so long, but uh, be right back. Okay, it's almost done, but it should make vanilla ice cream. I know, weird, right? You get four of them. You get four vanilla ice cream. Uh, whenever you put vanilla ice cream back in the freezer, um, and then I guess you put some uh, ingredients in there, you can actually make... Uh, different types of ice cream. So, for example, this vanilla ice cream plus cocoa beans, wh what do you guess it'll make? It'll make some chocolate ice cream, of course. Chocolate ice cream. And chocolate ice cream. We've got one chocolate ice cream. And it didn't even use all four of those vanilla ice creams. So I can keep making more. If I put a rose red dye in, I will get vanilla ice cream. And if I put a cookie in, I will get you guys can probably guess here what I'm going to get. It's my favorite ice cream in real life, I think. Uh, that tied with peppermint. But it becomes cookie dough ice cream. And uh, this is just the ice cream, by the way. We need some cones. Obviously, we're going to make some cones. But uh, one last ice cream type you can make, and it's very weird. I don't know why. But you throw in magma cream, and you will get... You'll get freaking iced magma cream. Oh, God. That's gross. Okay, I wouldn't eat that, but uh, we're going to set this over to the side, and we're going to do something with that here in a second. Um, now, there's just one last thing I want to show you guys how to craft um, in the freezer, but in the meantime, we are going to move over to the decorations and stuffs category. So these are a bunch of ornaments you can make to put on your tree, which you will need to uh, do because Santa's going to be coming tonight, and uh, I'm going to toggle downfall real quick. So it doesn't snow. I know I like snow, but uh, it's going to mess up my uh, Christmas tree area here. So I don't want it to snow. But uh, yeah, you can make all these ornaments pretty easy with a piece of glass and any type of dye in the middle. And you'll get, you know, that color ornament. And uh, with these Enderman ornaments, Blaze ornaments, and Creeper ornaments, you can get these sometimes as drops from those mobs themselves. So if you go kill them, uh, there might be a chance they'll drop it. So that's pretty cool. But down here, we've got some Christmas lights. Christmas lights are crafted just like this, um, and you'll get three of them. These are important because you need them on your tree as well, so Santa will come. Uh, the star is important as well. You'll need this, and it's crafted with some glowstone and glass. Um, and then these are stockings. They're just for decoration. To craft a uh, regular stocking, you're going to need some red polar bear fur and some regular polar bear fur, because there are polar bears in this freaking mod. Uh, we'll get to them, but I'll show you guys. Um, and you'll get four stockings, and then to craft a full stocking, you just put a candy cane in it, which you can harvest, and we're going to get to that as well. But if you want to make some candles, uh, you have to make a white candle first. It requires some bone meal, string, uh, nether quartz, and you will get three 
white candles. And then uh, to actually dye the candle, it's kind of it's kind of weird. You place down the candle wherever you want, and then you right click it with whatever dye you want, and it will dye it that color. And as you can see, I'm in game mode zero. It didn't look like it consumed my dye. So I don't know if that's a bug or anything, but... Okay, so before we move any further, I'm sorry, I forgot, we should be playing Christmas music in the background. So right here we've got some music by Kevin, uh, he's pretty great, uh, he makes royalty free music, which means I don't think I should be hit with copyright, but I'm gonna be playing this in the background as we, uh, as we, you know, continue further with our mod showcase. So it looks like we've got Jingle Bells, I'm gonna go ahead and slap that in there. Yeah, now we're all festive and stuff. Uh, anyways, let's go back to this decorations chest, we'll see that there is a decor door um, and to craft that you'll need a wreath and a regular door and to craft a wreath uh, you craft it just like this and it looks like it can be crafted with any sorts of flowers and leaf combinations but you'll need some string at the top and you'll get a wreath and then you go ahead and make that door and let's just pretend this is like my house or something and here is the door this is what it looks like it's just a normal door with awesome wreath on it so that's pretty cool but moving on we got some food and stuff chest right here I guess uh, you're gonna need to craft a mug if you're gonna make some hot chocolate I know you guys want some hot chocolate it's Christmas time you're gonna need some to craft a mug you're gonna want uh, red rose dye and uh, some clay it's pretty easy and then you can fill that mug with either chocolate milk or hot chocolate or even eggnog and uh, the chocolate milk fills for hunger and requires marshmallows cocoa beans and some milk um, to make some marshmallows, it's just a bunch of sugar, obviously, and a crafting recipe, and then you'll get some marshmallows, uh, which alone even heal .5 hunger, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then if you want to make some eggnog, it's just the egg, some sugar, and milk, and then some hot chocolate, of course, is chocolate milk in the furnace, heated up will give you 8 hunger and a speed boost. But to craft a waffle cone to slap your ice cream on, you're gonna need some wheat and sugar, you'll get a waffle cone. Um, and then you take that ice cream from earlier and you combine it into a shapeless crafting recipe and uh, you'll just get whatever ice cream you have. Vanilla ice cream cones will give you 3 hunger, chocolate gives you 3 hunger but a 45 second strength boost, strawberry will give you a 45 second health regen um, and 3 hunger, and cookie dough will give you 3 hunger and 45 seconds of speed boost. Now remember that I magma cream ice cream cone? I don't know what to think of this. But, it, I mean, if you eat it, it gives you fire protection, so uh, why not? You can also make a fruit cake here. Uh, fruit cakes per slice will heal you to hunger. It gives you 10 seconds of strength boost. So, I mean, it's like a normal cake. You place it down, you can eat pieces at a time. Um, and you know what else is also weird? Is if you go into a crafting table and put your fruit cake in there, you'll get 16 fruit cake bricks. I don't even know what these are used for. I guess they're just for building and looking cool and Christmassy. But you can't destroy them with your fist, you're going to have to mine them with a pickaxe uh, to get them back. So, uh, it's kind of weird, I don't know why you get 16 of them, but uh, you do. So it's pretty cool, I guess. Okay, we've also got the Deck the Halls um, song by Kevin as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it in there, and uh, Deck the Halls will be playing. So, okay, let's continue on here, we just covered some food, we're almost done here, you guys, and then we can open up some presents and sleep so that way Santa can come and leave his presents under our tree. It's pretty cool. He actually does come. So, okay, here we go. Snow. Uh, we've already covered that. Uh, we're going to move on to just other great Christmas things. All right, so in here we've got a countdown calendar, which is crafted with a clock and some paper. I'll show you what that is in a second. Um, and then there's also an advent calendar. Um, to craft that, you need some candy canes um, and uh, a countdown calendar in the middle. And this is pretty cool. We're going to we're gonna show you what that does in a second. There's also a snow globe, which uh, requires a legendary ice gem right in the middle, some iced stone, and some glass, and you'll get a snow globe. And this is what it does, you guys. You place it down, it looks pretty cool, and watch this. Uh, oh, I right-clicked it, the clouds began to dark, and no matter what biome you're in, it will be snowing. So, there you go, you can feel like it's Christmas, no matter where you are in Minecraft. Anyways, I'm toggling downfall because I don't want no snow right now. Okay, so, uh, yeah, moving on here, we got a candy cane axe and a candy cane sword. The candy cane axe says it's crafted with some candy canes and sticks, but I don't know how this sword is crafted. I tried crafting it with some candy canes and a stick, but it, it just didn't work. So I don't know if it's creative only or not, but I'm going to show you what it does anyways. 
So the candy cane axe is used to actually chop down candy canes that spawn as structures randomly in your world. So if I go up here and I destroy this block with my fist, I will get some candy canes out. But if I destroy it with an axe, I can harvest the block and I can take it home with me, place it wherever I want, and then get some candy canes later if I want, just by punching it. Um, and that's, of course, how you get those candy canes that we need in our recipes. So, uh, that's all the candy cane stuff. I'm going to put that stuff back. Um, I'm going to show you what this sword does, actually, real quick. Okay, so you find a poor defenseless mob like this here sheep with your candy cane sword. And it looks like it does seven attack damage. Pretty good, I guess. Um, and whenever you, it says if you sneak while attacking, the mobs will drop candy canes. I mean, I guess that wasn't the truth there with that sheep, but I'm sneaking right now. And look, he dropped a candy cane. So that is another way you can get candy canes. I don't know, I'm actually not sure how you get this sword in the first place. But uh, if you guys can figure it out or find it anywhere on the forums or something, just let, just let me know in the comments and everybody else will know how. Okay, so uh, yeah, moving on here. Uh, let's go back over to the goodies chest. This is the real goodies chest here. We got lots of good stuff. Inside this chest, we also have some ice skates. Uh, and a magic saddle. These are our last two items here. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys some mobs, and we're going to open some presents, and it's going to be great. Okay, so we got our ice skates here that are crafted just like this, and whenever you wear them as little booties, um, you can actually run around on ice super fast, which is useful because with this mod, no matter where you are in Minecraft, it will be snowing. If you're in the desert, it's snowing. If you're uh, in a forest, it's snowing. So um, ice skates are useful because all the water everywhere is frozen because it is Christmas time. So you're definitely going to be needing these ice skates, and they help you out a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off here real quick. Um, I'm going to put on some of that armor, by the way, from earlier. I don't want you guys to uh, finish this video without seeing what the armor looked like. Um, the armor looks pretty cool. This is the crystal armor. This is the armor you're going to want. It looks like a more advanced diamond armor. It looks crazy. Look at that. That's awesome. Um, and then this armor here is redefined ice. It looks pretty cool too. It's just a darker version. But that also looks awesome. So um, I would definitely wear those armors if I made them. So let's load up some mobs here. Uh, the first mob we got here is a work in progress. Like it says, it's just an elf. They don't do anything. They just kind of walk around being elves. Um, and they're kind of tall, really. You know, it's it's as tall as me. I'm not a short guy. I don't know why this elf is so tall. Get out of my face. Uh, if you're not going to bring me presents, then never mind. You know, he's a work in progress. He's not done. I'm going to sink him down in the ice here. You better fall underneath. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, elf. Looks like you're just going to have to drown. Oh, wow. Look, he's having a tough time down there. Look at that. Sorry, elf. It's just the way things have to be sometimes. No, but next up here is the Snow Golem. Uh, you can craft this guy uh, by building him, but I will show you how to build him here in a second. There's also a Spawn Egg, and when he spawns in, he's just a normal snowman. He doesn't do anything. He's passive, so if you killed him, uh, he would not attack you back or if you attacked him. So if, let me just kill this guy. Doesn't look like he drops anything. So he's just a Snow Golem. I'll actually show you how to make him right now. Uh, to make the snow golem, you just put s two snow blocks, and then you make the snowman head, which is crafted just like this with some coal and car a carrot, of course. You place that on top, and then it's kind of like a, a snow golem, except it's a snowman. So if you want to make a snowman, you can now in Minecraft. But next up, we got this polar bear. Remember that polar bear we were talking about? So these guys are neutral, which means if you attack them, they will definitely try to attack back. So as you can see, hold on, I'm going to game mode zero here. So I can show you that he does attack back because he is a polar bear. Fight me. Fight me, polar bear. I know, you, I know you're going to attack me. Well, he's trying to. I, I, I'm not sure. Never mind. I don't know. I'm going to kill him. There we go. All right, he drops polar bear fur, and you can dye this polar bear fur by actually putting it in a crafting table with some red dye, and that's actually how you get the red polar bear fur so it's pretty easy um i'm gonna spawn in this penguin this penguin is uh he's another neutral guy uh he attacks though i think i'm not sure why i'm not taking damage i'm in game mode zero but uh he's supposed to be attacking me because i hit him back but anyways whenever you kill him he drops raw fish so if you need some fish kill some penguins um next up is a reindeer they, of course, got reindeers in the Christmas mod, you guys. And reindeers are special. They're very special. You can ride them with saddles. 
that can be crafted. So let's pull up this magic saddle that I had. And uh, it's crafted just like this with three ice gems, obviously, because riding a reindeer is a privilege. It's something that you can probably only experience once. <laughs> so when you ride him, he is controlled with a carrot on, the s on a stick. I keep saying on the stick. But um, yeah, anyways, you can control him with this just like as if he were a pig. And he's pretty cool. He's fast. It's a great way for transportation. And he's awesome. It's a reindeer, you guys. You can ride a reindeer. Too bad he doesn't fly, though. I wish he could fly. And why isn't he Rudolph? I want him to be Rudolph with his red nose. Anyways, I just killed him. But whenever you kill him, he will drop raw venison, which is actually uh, the type of meat that deers probably drop here. And it fills up to hunger unless you cook it. And then it will, I'm not sure actually how much it will heal up if it's cooked. It's, it will heal you five if it's cooked. So there you go. Ride some reindeers around, kill them. I don't care what you do with them. But that was a reindeer. Next here is the mini snow golem, which is um, a hostile mob actually. So I'm going to have to switch over to uh, easy mode. Um, and this guy sucks. Like he's hard, man. He's like a worse skeleton. He, he'll just shoot rocky snowballs at you. They hurt too. And as you can see, he's hard to get to if I, I can't reach him, really. I just nailed a hit on him right there. Now he's dead. There we go. Okay, but anyways, you got to watch out for those dudes. They shoot real fast. They have a big fire rate. And, um, yeah, when they when they die, I thought they were supposed to drop something cool. Let's try and kill one again. Ouch. All right. Die. Die. Oh, there we go. He, they have a chance to drop a music disc because he's a hostile guy. All right, so anyways, our next hostile mob here is the gingerbread man. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, God, he's strong. Oh, okay. Well, I, we almost died. But uh, he has a chance of dropping a music disc as well. He also drops, I believe, gingerbread men. I, is that an object in, in this mod? Yes, it is. It, it fills 1.5 hunger. I guess I didn't include that in the food chest. But he drops those, and uh, he'll give you 1.5 hunger. So it's almost time to bring Santa Claus to our Minecraft world, you guys. It's almost time. I just want to show you this last crazy mob. It's called the Albino Reindeer. And it's as scary as it sounds. I mean, it's a huge freaking reindeer with 50 health and he's hostile. If I switch to game mode zero, he's probably going to kill me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. He would have killed me if I didn't switch back. Anyways, we're going to slay this guy. We're going to kill him, see what he drops. He's got 50 freaking health. But when you kill him, he will drop some, it looks like venison, more venison. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he's just a big old reindeer. So just watch out for that guy if you ever encounter him. But now it's time to summon Santa Claus. Um, and to do that, you're actually going to have to build a 3x3 three three area of any colors of wool. Um, I just did a combination of red and green because Christmas. And we're going to have to build a tree. But no worries, I have the supplies right here. Uh, just build a normal just tree. Four blocks high, I'd say. Um, and then surround it with some leaves, of course. Like this. Or you could find a tree. You don't have to actually build a tree. Um, but you can build a tree just like this. Perfect. That's a perfect tree. Uh, surround it with lights, just like this. The lights will kind of wrap around all the blocks. So it's pretty easy. You just slap them on there, just like this. Um, you don't have to put lights on the top, but I do, just like that, because it makes my tree look great. Um, and then put some ornaments on there. You're going to need ornaments along the bottom of every leaf block. So go ahead and just mix up your ornaments. Doesn't matter what color. Just slap them on there and finish your tree. So once your tree's finished, um, it looks like it's got ornaments and everything. You need to finalize it with a star right on top. And the way you'll know if it works is if lightning will strike the tree. But be careful if you're in game mode zero because it will damage you. So I did it. Did I do it? Okay, maybe lightning doesn't strike the tree, but that does look like it's working. It's, it's, it's got some sort of little essence uh, coming off of it. I think that means it's working in the new version. The old version, I think lightning struck the tree, but it doesn't anymore. Okay, so I think we're ready to sleep. No, snowman, that is not your bed. Get out of here. It's my freaking bed. Um, yeah, but we're ready to sleep, and we want Santa to come. It's nighttime. It's time to get to bed. Make sure you have some hot chocolate in your inventory, as well as a Christmas cookie, which is crafted with some gingerbread men. So you're going to need to slay some of those hostile gem gingerbread men, so that way you can get some of those. And craft this Christmas cookie, because Santa will only come if you've got him some hot chocolate and a Christmas cookie. So go to sleep, and we better wake up next to some presents. Santa? 
Santa didn't come this year? Okay, well, no, it, it, there's a 50-50% chance he will come, so we're going to have to set it back to nighttime and try to sleep again. I was a little shocked, but tonight is really Christmas Eve, and there are our presents, you guys. Wow, he surrounded our tree with presents, but he also gave me four presents in my inventory, so Santa thought I really just deserved presents this year, I guess. Um, but yeah, once you got your presents here, I'm going to set my game mode back to zero. Uh, just punch these presents out. When you break them, goodies will come out. And um, I think red presents are vanilla Minecraft items and green presents are mod items. As you just saw, I got an ice shard out of, um, I guess, that green present. So let's destroy this green present here and we'll get some polar bear fur uh, right here. We got an iron pickaxe. Nice. Uh, what else we got here? Ooh, an I a waffle cone. Thanks, Santa. How did he know I wanted a waffle cone? All right, and then another iron pickaxe. Uh, ooh, what is this? A chiseled ice shovel. That's nice. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and keep destroying. Let's destroy this last present here. We got a red present and an iron chest plate. Wow, that was a bunch of goodies. All right, so let's place down these other presents he gave us and destroy them. We've got some strawberry ice cream <laughs> that was unmelted. Um, freaking an iron shovel and a, um, a flower pot. Wow, some great presents. <laughs> okay, so I've got some other presents here I do want to open just because they're really fun. They're kind of like lucky blocks, to be honest. It's random. You get a random thing every time. Uh, there's no telling what you're going to get. So I got an ice shard, a freaking rocky snowball, um, another shovel, and a Christmas ornament. Thanks. Um, but over here in the red uh, red presents, we're going to be getting a feather, some wood, <laughs> a raw fish, and a torch. Those are probably the worst Christmas presents I could ever get. Um, no, but they're cool. They're still cool, though. <laughs> and over here, we've got what's called a dark present. And dark presents are bad. You don't want a dark present. They're purple. Uh, if you've been naughty, you get one of these. And, um, wow, that one was actually good. Did you guys see that? That was great. Wow, that dropped four great things. Okay, so well, there's a chance of it being really good, but there's also a chance of it being really bad, uh, obviously. I just got four great things. So I'm guessing you get a candy cane sword out of presents sometimes. Like, that's a present thing to get. Um, but here, let's destroy that. Yes, a full set of armor. That's great. Oh, man. Was that a bad one? Oh, God. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about. That was a bad one. There's freaking mini snow golems chasing me around everywhere. I'm going to have to game mode one for this last for this last freaking present here, man. These guys are just crazy. I'm going to switch back to peaceful so they go away. All right, back to easy. Nice. All right, so let's destroy this last present. It even works in game mode one. Oh, God, it's TNT. Run. Okay, I thought the explosion would actually happen a little sooner. But wow, yeah, you better watch out for those dark presents. Don't put them anywhere near, um, like, your home base or anything, if you can help it, because, like, that could happen. TNT could spawn and just blow up your entire house. But yes, guys, I mean, the last but not least thing I did want to cover were these calendars. Like I said, we were going to go over them. Uh, here is the advent calendar. What it is is every time you actually right-click it every day in Minecraft, you will get a new treat. So as you can see, I right-clicked it. I got two vanilla cones. If I right-click it again, it says I've already received my treat uh, for the day. So, uh, you know, if I destroyed it and placed it back, I could keep getting free treats. But <laughs> let's just not do that and uh, just get a nice free treat every day. But uh, over here, we got a regular calendar. It just tells you how many days until Christmas. It says only 16 days, and I believe that's real time, too, because um, as of now, when I'm recording this, there really is only 16 days uh, till Christmas. So I'd imagine that that is correct. But yeah, guys, that is it for this mod. It was a huge mod. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of thing. If you guys want me to do bigger mods like this uh, some more, I will do them. Um, just let me know by smacking that like button below and leaving some feedback in the comments. Leave a comment and tell me which mod you want me to do next. If I do that mod and I see your comment, I will show it in the next mod showcase. Look at this snowman. He thinks he's so funny. Get out of here, snowman. Get out of here. He's just a snowman. He's going to melt when the sun comes out. Anyways, that's it, you guys. I will talk to you stars later. And see you guys.